all doing good. I'm here again with a new topic, which might not be new for you, but I want to explore some different options, kind of coordinating clashes between different platforms that we are typically working in, like Revit, Navisworks, ACC. And I want to explore two add-ins. One is the ACC add-in issue to connect the Autodesk products to the ACC coordination environment and also new form of connect, which is a popular plugin as well. And we're going to explore dealing with different file formats as well. And then you see RVT, IFC files to see how we can come up with a workflow, which, which is better for our project, depending on our skill sets and the familiarity of the other teammates in our project. So let's get started. So as you can see, I have two Revit models, which are very simple. Let me close this one and we can open them later. I need to bring back my project browser. So you see here that I have two simple Revit models. So one is containing a bunch of mechanical and electrical elements. And the other one is a structural model, which has a floor element and a wall element inside that. And if I jump into the model coordination platform as well on, on my ACC, uh, I have the same coordination space here with the same model. So this is the coordination space, like a test hub. And then these are the same models that you can see. And as you can see, when you bring this link in, there will be a bunch of clashes with this wall and that floor element. These are not typically clashes. They can be considered of this video considered as conflicts and we want to see how we can manage these issues. So if we go to ACC here, we have the models with different formats, IFC, NWC, and RBT. So first we can start with our Revit files. So we can easily combine or federate them inside the ACC environment. And we can have these two models and then we can start running clashes against the two models. I don't know why ACC is not identifying this intersection as a clash. Maybe so C is not good today. Sometimes it happens, but imagine that these are all, all the clashes that, and we want to publish some of them on our ACC environment. So for some reason, we select this one and this one, we can select them. These are not an issue, but it's a valid interface and we can sell sleeps, load, and then we can click OK. So now we have only basically two clashes remaining. So I want to consider this as a clash and then I will create an issue out of this one. So let's select this one. See this actually, I don't know why it's not available now, but let's create this one and it's a clash. And then we locate this one and you will see that the kind of clash panel has been created for us with the name, with the title. We can modify all of these. So should be the watcher and I'm going to assign this to myself, for example, I can add information where the kind of locator in terms of our project zoning system, due dates, start dates, and all kinds of attachments, including RFIs, photos, and different, even PCOs and different types of change management documentation that you're dealing with in your project. So let me, what happened to my cash window? We have those issues. Previously, I created this one as well. So you see now we have two issues. If we go back to Revit now and check our issue management plugin, you will be able to see that on this model, we have two issues and I can easily link that. So close this one. And I can link that model inside my Revit project again. So you have a better visualization of what's going on here. And you can see that the same issue is here. The same one is here as well. So. You can, for example, in Revit, if this is a clash, you can, for example, I don't know, limit the penetration. Okay, you, you cannot penetrate here, and then you can find a, another reroute for this dot and then modify it. And then when you jump into that one, which is the other clash, this one, and you can say that, okay, this is done. You can put it on review, or you can say this is closed, and you can put your comments. And yeah, if you go back to CC, if you just refresh, you will be able to see that probably that clash is now considered as a closed item. So you see it's loaded. And if we go to the issues, uh, you see there's only one clash remaining here. And so these platforms can talk to each other. The other, the same practice is in Navisworks. So you can create, you can bring those Navisworks model inside that and run a clash detection on your 
model and for example i approved all of these clashes and then i keep this one as a new one and i want to publish this on new formal and i can easily go to the new formal and clash to issues and then i can select okay this test and only publish the new clashes and fill, fill out the information here and you see that the issue is, uh, is there so if i exit the clash section mode uh, this is my view and i can easily jump into that as well also we have some um, settings here that you can for example force to create a section and if you now select on that it tries to create a section box but here the model is very small and the same thing will happen in Revit. So you can you can now go to the new form on, on your Revit, bring it, and you can see that the same clash has been created here. Uh, you will be able to go to settings if you, for example, want to want to wrap the, the box around the clash. It will do that. And if you jump into the model, it created a view for you. Sometimes the size is not right, but you can see the clash here. So you can easily have a nice view that. Is created by by beam track and also you can adjust the size of the bubbles as well if you want to, to, to have a better visualization so now you, you will be able to see the clash location and you'll be able to try to resolve it and the software would be able to resolve the clashes as well for you but you can also manually here go to edit and uh, set it as closed and publish it and the issue will be to the closed and also, in terms of working with the IFC formats, you will be able to bring the issues from new Forma to, to ACC as well. So if you go to the docs module, find the same files. I've already exported the DCF format. This is the same clash as I have on the kind of online platform. I can easily select that and export as DCF 2.1, which is the compatible format ACC. So if I, for example, open this model, you'll be able to see that the same model. And here, if I go to the issue, you see that on ACC, we can import from a DCF file. So if I select that one, and you're done. To... So you can see that now as a DCF file with all the properties have been exported into, into this way, with hundreds of clashes, you can export it as DCF format one, and then you can create them as issue. So here's this name, and if we go, which is cool. What if if I select these two files, my two IFC file formats? So if I open this one, I will be still able to see that flash. There we go. So you see that how I was able to communicate between these two platforms. So I hope that you liked this video. That my whole purpose was to tell you that these plugins are really useful and stable and you can find your workflow and fine-tune it yeah for acc probably you need some kind of api programming or more advanced workflows to to make it better streamlined and efficient but these are kind of available tools for for autodesk compatible we have solibri we have the model checker solibri we have Revisto, which is amazing so we have all of these platforms i'll see you in the next one have a good one